hello my loves welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Loey, and if you've not already seen part one of this video i would highly suggest you go and check that out before you watch this video because in this video i am doing a spirit box session in this 1800s historic mansion turned hotel if i look over here <laughs> my emotional support is here with me um he doesn't want to be on camera which i totally respect but you don't mind the youtube thing so i appreciate that also i mean he was down to come along for the ghost adventure you want to reap the rewards you just don't want to do the work so if i look off that's why but basically today i'm going to be doing a spirit box session in my hotel room in this mansion um i'm gonna call it a mansion because that's what it feels like it doesn't feel like a hotel it feels like a bed and breakfast or something like that like i feel like we're just like staying in a room in a bed and breakfast if anything but it's worn a lot of hats over the years this place has been an apartment building it's been an inn it's been a mansion it's been a hotel again and i definitely think there's a lot of energy here i definitely sense something a little bit off and i'm curious to see what we find but more than anything i'd love to speak with the spirit of a girl named emily who is supposedly haunting the halls of this mansion now if you miss part one essentially emily was a young girl whose groom was shot to death on the day of their wedding and she had a full-blown mental breakdown wore her wedding dress for weeks and then eventually died of a broken heart they say that you can see her all over this building in her wedding dress just wandering the halls in the rooms in the lobby out outside everywhere so i'm definitely curious if she will want to come through tonight without any further ado i'm going to quit blabbering and let's jump straight into the spirit box <sighs> i haven't done this in a while and i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> oh my gosh could you say that again please That was so fast. I've never like gotten anything. What did you say? I think she said hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, this is so sudden, it never, it like never happens like this. Like I've never had it. Sorry, you keep talking when I talk. I'll be quiet so you can talk for yourself. My name's Lily and I've come to see if you want to talk tonight. It seems very noisy and it seems like there's a lot of people talking all at once, huh? I've never, like, I've never had a talk this much, like, ever. I was hoping I could talk to this... I was hoping I could talk to the spirit of a young woman named Emily tonight. That was like a that was like a man. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna put this down, maybe it'll help. Yes, I can hear you. My name's Loey, what's your name? My name's Loey, what's your name? Could you say that again? I swear to you, I think it's an Emily. Am I crazy? I think it's an Emily. Emily, 
I'm wondering if you were a young woman who was supposed to get married here. That was a yes. That was a yes. Right? 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 Who is the man who keeps talking? Wow. This is crazy. Does that help me? Are you trapped here? Whoa. Okay, I just felt something, like, did you see how it just moved? I felt something put pressure on the spirit box, like, pushing it this way. Because like, I was, like, holding it like this, and it felt like somebody went like that. There are a lot of people talking all at once. I would like to just speak to Emily for now, if that's okay. Emily, are you trapped here? If there's anything I can do to help you move on, I'd love to do that for you if you could just tell me how. There's a man that keeps interjecting. Like there's like a... Who is the gentleman who keeps, um, who keeps speaking up? It was like a Tom or like a... What's crazy is I think I heard Morris, which was which was the owner of this place. And like he made it into a hotel. Into, I can't even talk, sorry, into a hotel. The gentleman who keeps speaking up, what is your name? Can you tell me more clearly? One more time, please. I don't know if you're an M, maybe like a Tom. Is your name Tom? My name's Morris. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. It's so nice to talk to you. Why is that cool? Did you hear that? Oh my god! I can't even breathe right now. Thank you so much for talking with me. How are are you trapped here or are you here because you want to be? He's staying for no. I feel like I'm picking up a lot of weird, like I feel like there's just a lot of people trying to talk all at once. I can't believe what just happened. That was insane. I feel so giddy. Morris, I know you were the owner of this place and it was something you were very, very proud of. And I want to tell you that, I mean, your legacy is living on and your hotel and the joy that you bring people is living on. And I hope you know that. I'm really sad. Can you say that again, please? Is that a baby crying? It's creepy. I've never had it this messy, like ever. 
This is crazy. If we could circle back around to Emily though, Morris, if you're done talk. What was that? Who am I talking to now? Who is that? Hi. I'm having so much trouble hearing like what's being said. I think I'm gonna take a little break just because I've never like in all so this is my comrades first time ever in a spirit box session um i've never had one that noisy number one i can't believe that i said to something like i basically confirmed that his name was morris and he said thank you and then he said cool like that was wild and wow like i'm like speechless i just like need a minute i want to keep going but like that's intense i feel like there's just everybody's like clamoring for a mic you know what i mean and definitely i feel like there was a woman who stood out and then there was who i perceived to be morris who stood out that's crazy i cannot get over how real that all was um I've never had a spirit box session like that and it does feel like there's a lot of like interference and maybe it's because we're in a city and there's more coming through but I feel like I got some very clear answers right there I'm gonna take a minute I'm gonna kind of breathe drink some water because I feel like my heart is like racing from that I was not expecting that um and then I'll be right back and we'll keep going so during the mini breather that I took I was desperately searching for any more information on Morris Partridge who obviously owned the Partridge Inn for a while but there's like nothing I can only find the stuff on the and I can't find any photos of him. I can't find anything else about his life except that he was a New York City hotelier. So I, I don't even know if that's what you'd like categorize him as, but um, he was so proud of this place. And I could just, it, it felt like people were just like grasping for a mic. So maybe now that things are a bit calmer, everyone can go a bit more slowly and maybe we won't have quite as much jumble. But I'm gonna start it back up. I like don't know what to say like literally in between all of this I like texted Haley and just straight up told her like this is the craziest spirit box session I've ever had but I'm so happy because I feel like I don't know I feel like I've never talked to something so one-on-one -on -one. every other one that I've had has been with Haley or Andrew or it's been like with friends of mine who just like wanted to see it work like it was a magic toy which isn't like you know I understand but at the same time it's like this feels like a real conversation and it's kind of crazy um how real it is and how real the experiences are like i just have chills all over my body it doesn't help that it's literally like it got really cold in here it's like 66 degrees in here why is it so cold ew okay <laughs> who would like to wait i heard wait is there anybody here who wants to speak Could you speak up, please? I'm sort of hey. It didn't sound like it was coming from the box. Yes. I'd like to speak with Emily now. Is Emily available? I feel like I'm like calling my friend's house. Could you say that again? Emily, I'm having a hard time hearing you. That was something, I'm not sure. Could you say that again? 
Thank you so much. Is there any... Is there anybody else who wants to speak with me before I turn this off and go to bed for the night? Can you smell that? It, it's almost like something really old. Like musty. Like, like in the room has got like 10 degrees colder. But it smells like, I don't, it's not, it, it just smells old. I don't know how to explain it. Is there somebody here who'd like to communicate? Hi. Whoa, that was crazy. Is this Emily? I don't think I always understand what you're saying, but I promise I can figure it out when I edit all of this together. But I can imagine how lonely it must feel to be stuck here. Are you trapped? Can you move on? She's a trap. So sad. Emily, can you tell me anything about your groom or what his name was? That was a man. Right after I asked about the groom. Is this the groom of Emily? Do you mind if I ask what your name is? It said name that, didn't it? Name again. My name is Lily, I'm asking what your name is. It's getting colder in here. It's so much colder. And I know we turn on the heat, or turn off the heat, but it's even colder than we first came in here. I just feel like it's so noisy. I'm gonna turn this off now. It's just so noisy. And I have used the spirit box so many times. <laughs> I've never heard it like that. And there's clearly a lot of interference that I don't think is anything. But it's also like I've heard it be dead freaking silent before. I've heard it like silent as day when I was in like the middle of a city where there, you know, should have been like radio reception. So I don't know. I really don't know what to think. Okay, so forget the background noise. Um, basically, I am going to try out the Ghost Radar app. I feel so mixed about this. Sometimes I think it just gives me the eeriest, most accurate responses, but I have the heat on because now obviously we don't have to listen super close. The words are much louder. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping, I don't know, I get maybe some more clear, concise. I don't think I can get quite what I was getting on the sphere box to the degree of accuracy and to the degree of detail, but I think maybe we could get a few key words if this thing works which I kind of changed my mind on and off of it not that I changed my mind I just I'm a little bit skeptical about this Tim and I kept thinking I heard the word Tom that's so funny all right Tim 
Is there anything you'd like to say to us tonight? Cap chart. Oh, that's ominous. <laughs> The last thing I was asking about was Emily's groom, like her deceased, like groom. So that's really creepy, actually, now that I'm sitting back and thinking about it, because the last thing I asked for was a name, and it said back at me, name, name, like that. I feel so weird. I feel like there's like this weird like pressure on my back, not in like a bad way, not in like a table, an uncomfortable table, tea. Um, let's go furniture shopping. It, it's not like bad. It just, it's like this little bit, almost like someone just has their hand right there, like touching me, which is definitely, I can like feel it. It feels very, very strange. The more I talk about it, like it's pressing in firmer. But then just now when I got a little bit flustered, it kind of like backed off a bit. That's so creepy. I feel like most people would be running out of the room. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say that maybe you couldn't say using the other, um, the, the radio box that I provided for you? Is there anything else you want to say now? Silent. Nothing else. All right. Um, I'm going to call that good for now. Uh, sorry for how loud that heater is. I'm gonna kind of collect my thoughts and I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been a little bit since I last spoke to you all. I put up my hair. I've been kind of eyeballing some of this footage as well as just getting a little bit more b-roll for my initial video. I'm filming things all out of whack, but I just wanted to end this off by saying that was, I, I don't even know what to say actually. Like that was literally the craziest thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> Hands down, like one of the wildest paranormal experiences I've ever had and I can't wait to actually like properly look over all of the footage and see everything that was said. That being said though, I'm gonna start unwinding for the night, call it a night, and I will see you guys in part three where I stay overnight. It is getting awfully close to 3 a.m. So if anything's gonna happen, now is the time. I love you all so very much. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in part three. Bye.